Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Julie and welcome to my channel, Agent Bag Reviews, where I do handbag reviews um, of bags in my collection. So thank you so much for joining me and consider subscribing if you'd like. So today I am doing a tag video. Um, it is a tag video that was started by Nick J. Snell and I will uh, put his channel in the description below. But what the tag video is, is what is the favorite bag in your collection right now? And what does it say about you as a person? So um, this is a very hard video for me. Um, what a great idea though, Nick, because um, it really helps us dive into us and ourselves as a person. Um, we love our handbags and it's interesting just because I have like all my bags are my favorites guys this is I love every single one of my bags so much otherwise they wouldn't be in my collection um, you know I've sold some stuff and when I sell stuff it's because I know that I'm just not in love with it anymore and I'm not reaching for so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know part ways with it there's nothing wrong with that but with a bag like this this is my favorite one if all my bags got lost in a fire, out of all of the ones that I would want to save, the one, it would be the one that's in this dust bag. So um, this is one that I actually haven't shown on my channel before, and I'm going to go ahead and show it. Um, I had one of these a long time ago in another size that I did sell because it was just way too small for me, um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. So the bag that I absolutely love with all of my heart, and this is not going anywhere, and it is me. This is me in a bag, I'm not gonna lie. My Louis Vuitton Alma PM in the denim. You guys, I every single time I see this bag and I'm looking at it on camera, I am like shook. I sh I'm shook. I love this bag so much. Um, I love it because blue is my favorite color out of everything in the world, followed by probably gray, and I love green right now. But um, for bags, I just absolutely love this bag. I love the side profile of this handbag. It like, it, it just gives me such good feelings whenever I look at this bag, and I know that sounds so bad, but um, this is a beautiful bag that I found actually from a Japanese reseller um, a little bit ago and I saw it they were having like a sale going on with their um, Japanese store and this was I believe brand off Tokyo brand off Tokyo is a really good store um, if you're you know trying to find pre-loved items on eBay um, wonderful place to go so um, what I love so much about this bag is the black trimming also. It is such a cool contrast. Um, the handles, these chaps are black. Um, I love, this bag had a little bit of wear on it as you can tell, there's like a little bit of a scuff right there. And I wanna say that that's like the only scuff that's on this bag. But otherwise, I feel like I got a really great bag here. Um, she was a good price deal, too. Um, so it has a beautiful feet on the bottom. This is the, so the Epi Almas, um, Back in the 90s, I want to say, when they came out with the Epi line and then in the Almas, they were made with gold hardware. And the Epi ones um, did not have the feet. Um, any of the Almas actually back, back in the 90s and I think early 2000s did not have feet on the bottom. It was some kind of change that they made like in maybe 2010, 2009 or 2010 that they started doing silver hardware with the Epi and putting the feet on the bottom. So that's exactly what I try to look for whenever I'm buying. Um, I actually got another Alma in um, Epi as well that I'm gonna reveal later on, but it has the silver hardware and I just feel like 
it's so different because Louis Vuitton is known for their gold hardware, which is wonderful, but to have something totally different with the silver hardware, I love it. Um, it came with the lock, which was in perfect condition. There is like not a scratch at all on this lock. I leave my lock on the very bottom one. So whenever I do open and unzip this bag, which is a very smooth zipper, I just love this bag so much. Um, there's the inside. It is um, black microfiber lining and it actually came with like a little dust bag for the lock and then the care card, the original care card. So super happy um, that that, you know, came with it. It also came with the dust bag. Um, you've got the two slip pockets inside and then there's a little bit of lint down in there. Um, you know, you can always clean that out with a lint brush, but I really like the Almas because here on the side, you do have these nice gussets. Um, so back a couple years ago, I did have the, this same bag in the BB and, oh, it was adorable. It was so good. But, um, I found that the BB was a little small for me. I think that the BB is a beautiful Alma. Absolutely. 100% the BB is cool. I like the proportion of the BB. Um, then, you know, I really like the PM though for like an everyday use, the PM size to me is great because I'm not too concerned about having to Tetris my things in it. And I can use a full size wallet in this bag. So, um, I carry this bag, um, really just like this. Um, I love the look of this and I love how ladylike it looks in a way. Um, not that I really need to feel like that, but anyway, it's just kind of is a fun bag to carry like this. It's really comfortable and, or you can just carry it, you know, by hand, of course. So, um, down the road, I guess if I ever wanted to, I can buy a black strap off Etsy or something and put it on these hooks here. And I think that would look really pretty too. So, um, the other thing I really love about this purse is, I don't know if you can see here, but it has yellow stitching all along this black zipper and um, it just sets it off. The Epi on this bag, I have had a few other Epi bags. It's not deep, like, I'm just trying to think. So like this bag came out in a red denim, which is so cool, and the blue and like my son Dean, he loves Epi leather, which is so cool. I love that he loves that. He's like, but mom, it doesn't really feel like it's um, that deep of an Epi. And I felt it and I'm like, you know what? You're right. This feels a little bit more of like a shallower groove, I guess you can say, but it still feels really nice. Um, I love that this bag came with the clochette and it has the keys inside of it. So, but anyway, guys, I love this bag so much again all my other bags I love them so much but if I had to save one from a fire it would be this one I think that's what I have to put myself into is that mentality that oh my gosh I if I have to pick one it's this one so um what this bag says about me I mean I think it's because I think it's edgier um I think one it's my favorite blue period. I love this blue so much. And, um, I also love the fact that it's carefree. I mean, I love to live, um, kind of carefree with kids and things like that. I don't have to stress about, you know, getting my bag dirty or, you know, getting water spots on my vachetta, which I mean, you know, use your bags. And I do have um, a bag with Vachetta in my collection again, but um, with this one just being so carefree, I find that that just makes me feel kind of good. So, um, I don't know. I just absolutely, I'm in love with this bag. So 
um, anyway, that is my video and I would like to go ahead and tag a couple other people and I'm going to put um, who I'm going to tag down below. So this was such a fun video to do. Nick, wonderful tag video that you have created and um, go check out his channel. He has beautiful bags. He is a wonderful man who um, is very proud of who he is and it really shows um, in his character. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.